Hello and welcome to the Garion Tabletop. I am Garion Reaver and this is the Far Waste Devlog number 7. I'm still going through player genera and species, basically player races. If you haven't seen it, check out Devlog 3 about the basics of player options, linked at the end and in the description. After the last couple of logs covered my own take on genre standards, it's now time for something entirely new, the mysterious Gamverite. As always, any content in this is subject to change as the game grows and I get feedback. If you have any thoughts, don't hesitate to put them in the comments, or come join us on the Garion River Discord, also linked in the description. Uniquely, Gamverites do not have species, they are just the one. Because of that, there is a lot of lore, so let's jump right in. Gamver is an arcology located on the eastern fringe of the old United Empire and served as the main trading hub with Rodnaveria and beyond. Befitting its importance, it was perhaps the most advanced and reinforced arcology in the eastern half of the Empire, widely believed to be impervious to most thermonuclear weapons. When the world erupted into Armageddon, its sturdiness went unchallenged, but that doesn't mean it wasn't a target. Rather than attempt to direct a nuclear strike against such a hardened city, Gamva was instead hit by a highly penetrative missile that carried a specialised payload, a very dirty bomb. When the weapon detonated inside the protective dome, it dispersed the radioactive equivalent of napalm, clinging to walls, floors, objects and people within a large radius. While most nuclear devices prioritise explosive power, this one was built to be as corruptive and toxic as possible. The vile substances overwhelmed the arcology's filtering systems, resulting in the radiation being pumped throughout the entire contained city. Gamva fell silent. Years later, when people had found enough stability to look beyond their immediate surroundings, it was noticed that the puncture in Gamva's dome had been fixed. Like countless other arcologies, the interior of the globe was a swirling vortex of hazardous gases, but unlike the others, this was… intended. Figures were seen milling around the exterior walls, going in and out of the toxic mist. The Gamverites were alive and well. As for what a Gamverite is, that is very difficult to answer. They are only ever seen sealed within pre-poc hazmat suits, breathing tubes connected to empty tanks, their viewing port or eye holes glowing with an unhealthy luminescence. Theories abound as to their true nature. Are they humans on the extreme end of the mutant scale, deformed beyond recognition? Are they sentient radioactive waste somehow operating a suit? Are they fishkind insects thriving in the glowing aftermath of Gamva? Or are they extraterrestrial life forms using scavenged prepox suits to disguise their otherworldly forms? No one knows for sure. Whatever they are, and however they reproduce, a steady stream of them seem to venture out from the toxic arcology of Gamva, and no one has ever returned from going in to find out. If Thalborn and Fischkind are disliked and distrusted among human society, Gamverites are outright hated. A lot of people seem to find them fundamentally unsettling, encased as they are within expressionless suits, a modulated voice emanating as communication. Yet, despite this intense hatred aimed at them, most Gamverites seem either oblivious or uncaring about it. As they are known to be capable and enigmatic, most people choose to avoid them rather than attack. If left alone, Gamverites seem to contentedly go about whatever it is they do. The only way to reliably antagonise a Gamverite is to attempt to open the hazmat suit in which they're contained. With all obvious clasps and seals welded shut, gaining access is no easy task. Whether it's out of shame of discovery, fear of death, or anger at the disrespect, Gamverites will fight to the death before they allow their true form to be exposed. In the event that their suit is breached, by accident or hostile activity, they are very adept at patching the damage and restoring suit integrity. A little context. An arcology is a theoretical city design intended to be self-sustaining, low impact, and not rely on personal transport. I'll talk more about this in a future video, but growing fuel and resource shortages caused the UE, the United Empire of Grand Britain, to disassemble most of their normal cities and rebuild them as arcologies. They're designed like giant snow globes, shelves supporting entire neighbourhoods and districts supported by a central column, all contained within a massive reinforced glass sphere. Maximising use of the sphere, 
while still getting that feel of the open air. Virtually none of them are still habitable in the postpoc, their internal environments too complex to survive the upheaval of the apocalypse. They're exceedingly dangerous, toxic hellholes inhabited only by creatures twisted enough to thrive and visited only by scavengers too reckless to care. Gamberites get a plus two and a plus one to different stats, one of which must be observation. They also have two relatively complex traits, unknown physiology and inhuman recovery. Gamberites are unique in being both a genus and a species unto themselves. There is nothing quite like a gamberite, we assume, and gamberites are all largely similar, again, we assume. You automatically pass any body checks related to mutation, poison, or radiation. In addition, you never need to eat, drink, or breathe. You are immune to toxic, radiation, and suffocation damage, and you cannot mutate or gain mutation slots. Cybernetics may be installed as normal, but they serve to improve the functionality of your suit. Mechanics checks replace any use medicine checks would normally have on you, but can only ascertain things related to your suit. For inhuman recovery, Gamverites don't seem to interact normally with damage or healing, able to quickly shake off what should be fatal shots, while treating the slightest suit breach as vitally important. You cannot be healed by chemicals, repairing, or any other active method. You can only recover health by natural regen, but regen 50% of your max health per hour of non-strenuous activity. If on zero health, you can be stabilised by an emergency repair kit, which restores one health as normal. This is the only exception. After receiving damage of any kind, you are considered to automatically patch any breaches in your suit. If unable to do so, such as being on zero health, restrained, or some other reason, and no one else patches it for you, then you cannot regen and instead take 1d20 damage every hour the suit remains unpatched. If you've seen Devlog 6 about the robot genus, a lot of that will sound familiar. They share a lot of mechanics such as damage immunities, not needing to eat, drink, or breathe, and medicine checks having no use. The difference is that Gamverites are presumably biological. Note that differences are that they do need to sleep, are affected by nerve damage, and automatically pass fewer mind and body checks. I also realised that I forgot to add a level 7 improvement to their traits, so that'll probably involve some tweaks to the healing rate. Maybe they heal 25% at first and then 50% at level 7. To be honest, the healing stuff is a bit of a gamble. I love the idea of it, but don't know how it would actually perform in a game. Theoretically, it allows them to be more reckless than other genera, with them recovering lost health a lot quicker than anyone else. The downside is that there is no way to actively heal other than saving them from imminent death. They're unusual, even by post-apocalyptic standards. I'm not fully convinced they'll work as they are, they might be too much of an overhaul, but I definitely want them to stand a bit apart from other genera. I'm commissioning some art of a Gamberite, hopefully making it the first official art of the game, and I can see them becoming sort of the mascot of the Far Waste TTRPG. And that is it for the Gamberites. I'd love to know your thoughts on them. If you like the sound of anything I've talked about here, come and give us a hand. I'm working on this with the help of the people over on the Garion Reaver Discord, which is linked in the description. Come and share your thoughts, or just drop in and show your support. I'd also appreciate it if you shared this round to anyone you know who might be interested. Thank you very much for watching, subscribe for more Far Waste devlogs or for board games, card games, miniatures, and TTRPGs like this. And I will catch you later.